Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to do this. So this is super neat design technique, super easy. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it. It's neat for making. You can put a monogram on there. I like to take like a line drawing of a flower and do and put that, the flower in the middle of a, a mandala like this, and then do the same technique. It's super pretty. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is really easy. It's not going to take any time at all. So we'll get rid of all of this. Oops, that's not what we wanted. Get rid of this. This, start up here. And we'll take this over here. And I want to make this pretty big. So we'll make it about this size. Take this. So this font right here, this is Anastary. It is so pretty. It's one of my absolute favorites. I'll link that in the description. Every crafter should have this font. I'll link this mandala as well. I just bought this. It's absolutely beautiful. Super excited to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to a lighter color so that when I put my text over it, I, oops, that's a little too light. So I can get a better idea of what it's going to look like on there. And it's pretty good. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think that's good. So if this is the type of thing that you like to learn and you like to make your own designs, like this video, but also subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm coming out with new videos probably twice a week or so. Just neat little tricks that you can make, do to make your own designs. So with this selected, go over to your right hand, um, the star, that's your offset panel. Click offset. You can move your slider. I already know I want this at 0.11. Apply. I'm going to move my original text. Now, what you want to do is you want to select all of that and then right click, make compound path. Up here in my color panel, I'm going to change that. I'm going to make that that color. Make it any color you want. I'm just, that's, that's what works for me. And then with it selected again, I'm going to again go to my offset panel. I'm going to offset again. Then now I, I'm not selecting my text this time. I'm selecting my first offset and I'm offsetting the offset. So I again want to do that at 0.11. Okay. And then I'm going to move this. Now there's a couple, see these tiny little stray pieces in here? I don't want those. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to release compound path. And I'm going to get rid of all of these super tiny ones that wouldn't weed well because it would just leave a little cut mark on there. It wouldn't. I think that's it. Okay. Now I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to right click again and I'm going to make it a compound path. I'm going to change the color of that. And with it still selected, I'm going to duplicate this, the second offset. I'm going to duplicate it, which is the two squares up here on top. Okay, and I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to move this on here where I want my text. Great. Right there is good. Right about there is good. Okay. And I'm going to select both of them. And then I'm going to go over here to my modify panel, which is the rectangle and the circle. And I'm going to click subtract. Just takes a moment. It's, it's a lot of information for it to process. Okay. 
Okay. And then I am going to I'm going to select all of this. And I'm going to right click and then the compound path. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to take my second offset and the first offset, I want to right click the first offset and I want to bring that to the front. Okay. And I want to center it. If you have trouble centering it, you can always use your line tool up here. So that's centered already. And I'm going to select both of those. And I'm going to subtract. Okay. And then I'm going to select all of this. And I'm going to make that a compound path. And then what I want to do is I want to uh, take this and I want to make it just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit bigger. I could probably use offset. But the problem with offset is that I can either offset the whole outside of it or I can offset um, all of it. And I don't, you know, actually I take that back. I am going, to, I'm, I'm going to do it with offset. So I'm going to go edit, undo, and I'm going to do it with offset. So go down to your offset panel, again the star, offset. But I'm just going to offset it by the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit. So I'm going to offset it by oh, oh, eight. Let's see if that's small enough. That might be just about right. Okay. So now I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to turn that back. So the reason that you want to make it just a tiny, tiny bit bigger is so that you're sure that you are um, touching all of the sides. So that looks perfect. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to take all of this and I want to turn this all the same color. Okay. So and what I probably could do sometimes make compound path when you're doing stuff like this. Um, sometimes it's a little bit weird. It, it, it takes part like pieces of it away. This is what I like to do. This might not be what everybody does, but this is what I do. Not that there's a huge amount of people using this um, technique, at least as of right now. So, give it a second. And now I'm going to take this and move it down just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace the whole thing. So when I trace it, it's going to trace it into. I'm actually glad that I made that bigger. Can we get it perfect? Now it's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my trace panel. Okay, that's the butterfly. Select trace area. And I'm going to trace this into a single, into a single um, layer. So you can see here that where I put my um, logo into it, that it kind of kind of messed it up a little bit. Obviously, when you're doing this, you're not going to have your logo in there as a watermark. So, um, so we're going to trace that. Give it a second. That's a lot of information for it to process. I'm also going to link in the description. Um, I run a bunch of super large Facebook groups for Cricut and Silhouette users. I'm going to link um, 
one in there. It's been 185,000 people. Um, just super friendly, super helpful, super knowledgeable. We'd love to have you join us on Facebook. Um, lots of tutorials in the group. So I'll link that in the description. So now there is your layer. So we'll move this off to the side and get rid of all of this now. Get rid of that. I actually should have sized my text at the same time so that uh, my text was to the correct, so that the text sized correctly to the design, but that's okay. I can do that manually. And this is obviously two layers now, so when you go to cut it, you will have, you'll be able to choose whatever colors you want for your two separate layers. If I had sized those together when I want to trace that, um, I wouldn't have to do this right now, but I did not, so I do have to. Not a big deal, though. But anyways, I mean, that's how simple it is. Super easy, just a fun, just a fun design technique that you can make really neat designs. People really like these. Um, super popular, so... That's it. I will link the Mandela in the description. I'll link this beautiful font. Absolutely recommend it. Um, I will link the Facebook group. Um, and then, like I said, you know, like the video if, if it's something that was helpful, but subscribe to the channel. You'll get the notifications. And that's it. Have a good day. Bye.